Hello guys, welcome to Scrolls. I am the real Cat97, and this is quote Mo Yang's other game. I really enjoy it as I well I really enjoy strategy games like this. So I've set up a match with my friend friend enemy ET7000. Assuming he's on. Hello, challenge. I, gu I guess maybe he's recording this as well. The awkward silence. Awkward? Oh. Okay. Oh, lag. Fantastic. All right. He's ready. He's going mono growth, apparently. I've only got energy. Why does he get to go first? Oh, this is great. <sighs> Among everybody but mono growth, Everybody hates mono growth currently. And so we're using scroll 0 0.94.4, I believe. Or is it 0 0.94.3? <laughs> okay, so he's ditched the card to get some resources. In this game, you summon a card by paying the cost here, like the Eye of the Eagle spell that he just used costs one growth resource, where I'm using energy resources. You can mix and match resources. The best way to learn the game is to watch it actually be played, so... I can ditch that, because I don't really need two of them. Especially on the, this early on in the game. I don't have any usable cards, so I will pass my turn. The goal of the game is to... Kill three... Idols... While protecting yours. So... I guess I'll just say... Do a little taunting. So he summoned... Kinfolk... You? What would you prefer me to use? So he's summoned it. <laughs> Can Folk Brave just a standard monster? So when your countdown reaches zero, you will attack in a straight line and damage this idol currently. I'm gonna toss Inferno Blast for resources to summon my gun automaton. A special kind of turtle. So he, the gun automaton will take the attack of Kinfolk Brave. You can see because he's flashing he's going to attack when he ends his turn. So he's ditching for resources. Gonna, oh! So he's going to take out my gun automaton. Oh, one second let me get Fraps out of the way. And so he'll just end his turn there. So here, I think I'm going to ditch Helm Slayer Mortar and use Ember Bond's enchantment. It's ine inevitable to keep his Kinfolk Brave from attacking again. My main problem that I have with this current build deck mono order is I don't have that many creatures in it. I need to boost my number of creatures. So there's the end of his turn. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna toss this because that's the late game spell and burn which allows me to draw a card if it 
I know. Okay, so that's... I'm in a decently good spot for next turn. If he was playing this, like, a really good monogrowth deck, I'd be in trouble. But... So there's one damage to that idol there. Let's see, what should I do here? I'm actually gonna... Toss the ether pump for cards. Okay, so I see what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna summon a copper automaton there. And a mortar behind it. And sorry guys if, if I'm using these cards too quickly for you to see what they do. Because, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I know this deck pretty well, so. My goal here, uh, hang on a thing, would be to get out my Iron Ogres, because they are definitely the muscle of this deck. I'm gonna toss my goo for now a destroyer, I think. We'll go here with the wall here. So round seven I have five energy. Of course I'm down to one card in my hand. He's got seven. He's definitely got the hand advantage. Probably would have been better off putting that back one. Oh man, that thing! Ah, gotta take that thing down. One bar is not gonna do me any use right now. Toss one bar for cards. Perfect. So another destroyer there. When I said perfect, I meant perfect. I want one of these out on the field. <sighs> but what do I toss for resources? Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah, I love that description. So the fox, eyes near the Jarl. So my wall is dead. What am I going to do? I'm going to toss some mortar. Get the cannon automaton there. Why? Did I put the cannon automaton there? Idiot. These destroyers are here for... Oh, really? <laughs> okay, toss violent dispersal. Yeah. Move him up. And you get an iron ogre here. This probably was not the best move here because I've alienated this row. The only way to get an attack on that row is to summon it there. But you can see I probably have the advantage here. I've got 7 energy. And a good field. And it would help if I had some cards. So I'm going to be at the mercy of the draw. I always do this to myself. Luckily I'm, I do have a clear advantage here. Junkyard? Good thing he doesn't have any rats. I think. And if I'm not talking, it's because I'm thinking. So, let's see what do I want to do. I want to toss this for cards, definitely. Wow. 
that can be useful. So I'm going to move this guy here and summon another one there. Currently I have three structures. That would be good. That would be a good move. I'm pretty sure that he's struggling to keep up here. Oh yeah, Yarl. You had to summon a Yarl. I suppose it's not too dangerous right now. Increase the counter by one. But also the damage. Uh. Oh wait, that's the the attack on this. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? Move you here and whip you. Move, boy. Move. <laughs> well, that gets rid of my 10, 10 damage to a lane every other turn. They're staggered now. I suppose it's not bad. Constant barrage. Oh, I'm. Uh, he's taking out my. And he's relentless, isn't he? No, he's just got. What was the point of that, man? What was the point of that? Oh. That was the point of that. Oh, lag. Yeah, I'm not that good. I don't have that good of a computer for recording. Oh man. Connection lost. Come on, come on, come back. Come on. Come on. No fair. Okay, so I'm back. I'm gonna toss Bombard. What am I gonna do here? I'm gonna ninja this, ninja this guy over here. Take that out. I'm gonna boost this guy's damage up to 10. Move him back on. Get the automaton in front of him. And get a coil. Here. Or... I hope this thing fixes itself at the end. Cause I did not pass. Oh, great. Uh, the, the glory. The glorious of beta game. Oh, sorry, guy. Oh, that's a bad habit. That is a bad habit. I've been calling them cards for a while now instead of scrolls. It is a trading card game, but still. Cause there's my charge coil back. I don't really like Manji Wolf. But then again, it's not that big of a problem right now. You know what? Let's see if this works. Man, you're gonna wish. You're gonna wish. So. How 
kind of want to attach. Sorry. Sorry, you picked a bad deck. We're in the end game. I haven't quite won yet, but close to. So he's bound. He's bound my Iron Ogre in place. He's taking out the Copper Automaton. Let's block that off. I'm gonna use Concentrate Fire on him. Take out that lane. Process for scrolls. And... Launch. So we've got an Elthorn there, which is why I had him attack twice, mainly. It doesn't matter that he's got the Elthorn now, now it's just clogging up his board. Since, since these two lanes are sort of inaccessible for me, Yeah, he's given this lane to me. I'm very tempted to give that lane to him. However, not gonna do so without some trouble. Move these over. Just as shields. Mainly. Cause you see what I'm doing here. I've given that lane to him. But I'm not gonna let him know that. You can have that lane. The scatter gun in there. Four left. Let's toss concentrate fire for options. We're gonna do move this guy over, spark him out of commission, get a wall. And we'll let him go. You see, in two turns I have won, so he's got to play something down there or else he's lost. Can kill better than Vader. I can reduce his resources by one, but I don't really care. He 
he's doing here is he's getting everything focusing in on that lane. So let's toss the iron over for cards. Well, why, man? Why? <laughs> I can't, I'm afraid I can't give that to you, my fast sir. Oh, please. I'm afraid I can't give that to you. Stupid Frostbeard again! You do realize, guy, that you had no reason to purpose to up your attack. I should have saved Violent Dispersal. You! A wall. I had dispersal, but used it. Oh man, lag. Like. 